Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about all of my most used makeup brushes. So it's been a little while since I've done a dedicated brush video and I thought it would be helpful to have a video talking about the brushes that I use the most. Like these are not negotiable for me. They're not ones that I reach for here and there. These are brushes that are in constant rotation. Anytime I do my makeup, most likely I'm using all of these brushes. So we're only going to be talking about, I think I have 12 brushes in total to share with you. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube three times a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll subscribe and stick around. And let's get into the brushes. All right, if you watch my videos a lot, these brushes should not be a surprise for you because if you watch my videos consistently, you see these brushes all the time. So I thought it would be helpful to put them all in one video. So if you're ever wanting to know what my go-to brushes that I reach for more than anything, and I have so many makeup brushes, but these are the ones that I use the most by far. A lot of these brushes, not all of them, but quite a few of them are from BK Beauty. I love BK Beauty. This video is not sponsored by BK Beauty, but I do have a lot of their brushes. I use them on a daily basis. So a lot of them you will see are from BK Beauty. And when this video goes up, they are doing their anniversary sale. It starts on August 1st through August 6th, and you can get 20% off site-wide, which is a pretty good discount, and you can actually combine that with the already discounted bundles. So they do have quite a few different sets on the website that are already discounted. The 20% does count on top of the already discounted price. So if you buy a set, then you're really, really saving a good bit on these brushes, but I wanted to put that out there if you are interested. As always, I will have all of the brushes linked below. They are affiliate links, so if you shop through them, I do make a commission that helps support me and this channel, so thank you so much if you do choose to do that. I will also have the details of the sale in the description box below. Brush number one is probably, of all my brushes, this is probably the most used if I had to pick just one. And it is from BK Beauty, it's this one. The 106 from BK Beauty. You guys, this is my perfect foundation brush, period. The shape is perfect. It's kind of, it's a rounded kind of dome shaped brush. It's pretty dense, but there's a little bit of movement to it. So you can get a lighter coverage with this. That's one of the things I like about it is you can use it to really buff products in if you want a lighter coverage but you can also really press products in and get a fuller coverage. So you'll see me do that a lot when I apply foundation. I will use this and in areas where I want more coverage, which for me is like right here, you'll see me kind of stippling with this brush and that's because this type of brush that's dense like this, you can get that fuller coverage that way. But like I said, you can also buff if that's what you're wanting as well. This is also a great brush for cream bronzer or cream blush. Really any cream or liquid products at all, this is a great brush. Honestly, I could do most of my face entirely with this brush if I really wanted to. It's just such a fantastic one. I use these all the time. I have three of them that I just kind of rotate in and out and whenever this one's dirty, I just reach for another one because I just, it's my favorite. I love it. It's just fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it. It retails for $34 and it will be 20% off during the anniversary sale. All right, the next brush is also a foundation brush. So this is the second foundation brush I'm gonna be sharing. This is the one that I also use all the time. It's a little bit different than the BK Beauty one and it's the Smashbox Blurring Foundation Brush. So you can see the shape of it is very similar to the BK Beauty. The Smashbox is a little bit fluffier, like it's, it's a little bit wider that you can probably see there. And I would say it's not quite as dense 
on the top here. The shape is similar. You can get a very similar result with this, but I will say this one is not quite as dense. So I think that's why I reach for this one the absolute most. Sometimes I do really want a little bit more density so I can get coverage in certain areas, but this one, you can do that as well. It's just not quite as dense as the BK Beauty one. But again, I would say the same things about this one as the BK Beauty. This is great for foundation, obviously, but it's also great for cream and liquid products. So cream bronzer, liquid bronzer, cream blush, liquid blush, even highlighter. You can kind of tap this on with. The Smashbox brushes don't get enough hype. I don't hear anyone talk about them actually, but they are fantastic brushes. They're really great quality. This one I've had, it's been years. I mean, probably at least three or four years at this point. They're very heavy and weighty, just really nice. I don't have trouble with shedding with these or the BK Beauty brushes. They're amazing. I reach for this one or this one always for foundation. And if I don't have either of these clean, then it's a bad day because for foundation, always, 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 I will choose this or that one. This one does retail for $38, so it's a little bit more expensive than the BK Beauty. This one is also kind of hard to find, although I did notice that now Ulta is carrying a few Smashbox brushes. Other than Ulta, most of the time you have to get them either from the Smashbox website or Macy's carries them, and I think QVC carries them as well. But I love this brush also. You can't go wrong with either of these for foundation. All right, moving on to concealer brushes. This is one of my favorite types of brushes. I'm always looking for the perfect brush for under my eyes. I think it's because I'm not really a sponge person with foundation and concealer. I am always, always a fan of brushes over sponges. I really only use a sponge to blend a little bit. Sometimes I'll apply like a cream blush occasionally on top of my base with a sponge, but I just don't use sponges that often. So I'm a huge fan of brushes in general. But for concealer brushes, one of my absolute favorites, I've been using this for, this has probably been a year or two at this point, I talk about this a lot, but it's from Sigma, and it's the F03. It's called the High Cheekbone Highlighter Brush, so they did not intend for you to use this for concealer, but for me, this is fantastic for concealer. I don't know what exactly it is, but it's a pretty long, bristled brush. It's kind of fluffy, but it's also a little bit dense right here on the top. It's rounded. And I don't know what it is, but I just love the way this, first of all, it fits perfectly under your eye, but I find that this really spreads concealer well. So I can kind of bring it down here, down the side of my nose, and then fan it out this way. I will say this one is not going to give you the fullest coverage for your concealer just because it's not super small and dense. We'll get to a brush like that in a minute. This one is more kind of wispy on the ends. So this is going to give you, I would say, a medium-ish coverage. But what I really like about this is I can obviously blend under my eyes, but because of the shape, it lends itself really well to kind of bringing your concealer down and even out here a little bit. You can bring it very easily down the sides of your nose. So this I really like for concealers that I really want to spread out. I'm not really looking for that concentrated coverage. I've never had any quality issues with my Sigma brushes either. And like this one, I know I've had for at least two years and it's still going strong. No issues, no shedding. I really love them. I don't have as many Sigma brushes, but the ones that I do have, I really like, and I think the quality is great. This retails for $21. Usually you can find it on some kind of sale, but I love these so much for concealer. I use them all the time. The next brush is also made for concealer, and I'm sure you've seen this brush before. I feel like this brush kind of took over social media months ago when I don't know why, it just all of a sudden I started seeing this brush 
everywhere and for good reason. It's the A506 from BK Beauty. This is uh, part of the collab with Angie Hot and Flashy. I'm sure you're familiar with her channel. This is a great brush. Very, very different from that Sigma brush though. It's much smaller, much more dense, and it's angled. So it's you can kind of see there. It looks like a little baby version of their 101 foundation brush. It just looks like a miniature size of that brush. But this is great if you're wanting a full coverage from your concealer. I find this is good for thicker formulas, more cream-based formulas, whereas this is better for thinner, more liquidy formulas. This, though, is amazing because it is the perfect shape and size to just fit right where you need it right under your eyes and it has that curved or slanted edge to it so it literally fits right up against your under eyes and because it's more dense you're going to keep your coverage whereas like i was saying earlier with this you're going to kind of shear it out a little bit you're going to get more movement from your concealer this one retails for 24 dollars this one you can get in a set. So you can get the entire Angie Hot and Flashy set, which is a great set. I have that set and every brush in there is amazing. I have another brush I'm going to mention from that set in a little bit, but I think that is a fantastic value for those brushes. I, I think you would love them. Highly recommend every single one, especially if you have um, hooded eyes. There's like five eye brushes four or five in that collection and they're great. They're very small and they're made for hooded eyes specifically and more mature eyes. I can't recommend the set highly enough, but for concealer, this is a great brush. If you want really full coverage under the eyes and you just wanna lightly be able to tap, 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 and you're done. The next brush, also for concealer, and it's this one. This is the BK Beauty 110. This one is called the Large Concealer Brush. My opinion of this is, this is kind of giving you a little bit of both of the previous brushes. So the Sigma F03 and the A506. You get a little bit of both qualities in this brush. It's larger in size, so the size is closer to the Sigma but it's not as wispy as the Sigma. It's a little bit more dense. So you get a little bit of the density that you get from the A506. So I think they describe this as being like a brush and a sponge in one. And I would agree with that for sure. So this one, you can also kind of blend outward and down with your concealer, like I was saying with that Sigma brush, but this one is more dense. So I do find you'll get more coverage with this than you will with this, but not quite as much as this. So I would say this one is kind of in between the two previous brushes, but this is really nice as well. If you like something larger under your eyes, this is amazing. I would absolutely recommend this for, if you're typically a sponge person for under your eyes, but you're wanting to kind of get into brushes, maybe you want a little bit more coverage under your eyes, but you don't need like a Full on full coverage I would go for this this is one of their newer brushes I think it was part of their core extension line which is its own set on BK Beauty's website this one retails for $30 and it will also be 20% off during the anniversary sale one more under eye brush because like I said I love a good concealer corrector brush for under the eyes. This one is also from Smashbox. This is the Blurring Concealer Brush. So this is just a mini version of the Blurring Foundation Brush, so you can see. This one I use primarily for corrector under my eyes, so whenever I use more of a liquidy corrector like the Huda Beauty, the Tarte, the Exa, one that's in like a doe or with a doe foot applicator, this is typically what I will blend it in with. Obviously you could use whatever brush, you could use one of the previous brushes for corrector under the eyes, but I find this one I really like just because of the size, number one. This one is also very dense. So for color corrector, I want 
the most pigment as possible. And I usually want to really try to keep it where I've placed it. I don't really want to move it all around or spread it out like I was talking about earlier. This brush fits right here and you can literally just tap your corrector right where you need it. You're done. You keep your coverage, you don't really spread it out too much, and it's a Smashbox brush, so the quality is great. I love this. Obviously, you could also use this for just regular concealer under your eyes. I just personally like this size and shape for corrector, but it would also work for concealer as well. This one retails for $28. And again, like I was saying with the foundation brush, you can get this Macy's, the Smashbox website, and now you can get this one at Ulta as well. So I will have it linked below. All right, moving on to a few cheek brushes. The first one is this one from BK Beauty again. This is again from the Angie Hot and Flashy collab that they did. This is the A507. So this comes in the Angie Hot and Flashy set that I was referring to earlier that has the concealer brush and then a bunch of the eye brushes. You guys, this is a fantastic brush for any cheek product at all. You can use them for powders for sure, for powder bronzer or powder blush, but what I use this the most for and it's what I use today for my bronzer cream bronzer that I have on. This is the best for cream, bronzer, and blush. I don't know what it is about this particular brush, but it just blends and applies cream products beautifully. Today I put bronzer on my hand and really worked it into the brush and then I just went in and tapped it on. And this brush just applies and blends all in one. You don't have to work at all to blend cream products with this. I don't know what it is, but it's a fantastic shape, size, the density. It's dense here, but it's not too dense. It has a little bit of movement to it. This cheek brush is obviously on the larger side, so this is not gonna be what you want if you want really precise blending. So if you're maybe contouring or something and you really want to keep your product in a specific place, I wouldn't recommend this brush for that because this is very blown out application. So you're not going to get precise blending with this. So that's the only thing, but I love it. This retails for $28 and like I said, you can get it in the Angie Hot and Flashy set. Then another cheek brush is this one, and I know this one is in high demand. It's always out of stock. The BK Beauty 109. So this is the mini, I think I call it the mini contoured foundation brush. So this is a mini version of their best-selling 101 brush. So it can be used for a bunch of different things. I've seen people using it for foundation, I've seen them using it for concealer, but what I use this for is precise cheek placement. So when I use like a more contouring type product like the Westman Atelier in Biscuit, the Face Trace Contour Stick, I love to use this because first of all it's angled and the size is perfect. It fits right here against your cheek and you can blend anything you need to with really light pressure. And it's dense and it's small, so it keeps the product right where you need it. So this is gonna give you that precise blending that this will not. So that's what I use this for. You can also use it for cream blush. It works really well for that as well. It's a little bit smaller. So if you have a smaller face and you don't want something this big, this works for that as well. It retails for $32, and like I said, you can use it for really whatever you want. Foundation, concealer, cream cheek products, you can do it with this brush. And the final cheek brush is another Smashbox brush. This is the Buildable Cheek Brush. For powder blush, this is my favorite by far. I have so many brushes, you guys, but for powder blush, I just don't think you can get better than this one. It's very, very wispy, as you can see, which is what I like about it. It's called the Buildable Cheek Brush. 
probably for that reason because the bristles really allow you to get a very soft blush application. So if you don't want intense pigment right away or if blush intimidates you and you're always worried about going in applying too much and then having to try to fix it this brush is perfect because you first of all it's very wispy so it's not going to over apply it's not going to over apply but you can continue to get more and build it up so you can always get the intensity that you want with a brush like this so you don't have to worry about going in once not realizing you have too much blush on your brush and then you've got a situation going on and you're trying to fix it and blend it out and do all that. You're not going to have that problem with this brush. You could also use it, I guess, for bronzer maybe if you wanted to, or even like setting powder, like lightly setting your face. But powder blush, this is always my go-to. And like I said, I have a bunch of brushes, but by far the one I use and reach for the most is this one. This one retails for $36 and it's fantastic. All right, the final three are eye brushes. And honestly, if I just had these three brushes, I would be fine. I could do anything I need to do with my eyes using these three. The first one is again from BK Beauty. This is the 202 brush. It's the defined crease brush. This brush is perfect in my opinion because of the shape. So it's not super large, it's not super small, it's like a medium sized brush, but the shape of it is tapered. So it gets really pointy on the end, but it's a little bit fluffy so you can still kind of blend with it. So this, again, I don't do super intricate eye looks typically. So this brush does everything that I need, but I love the tapered edge of it because you can use that tip to really precisely place shadow. Like I will often do like a little bit of a darker shadow out here in the outer V. So you can place it with the very tip of the brush, but it's fluffy enough that you can also blend it out a little bit if you want. You can also use this tapered edge to really get your crease. You can blend, you can apply in precise areas with this. You can, I mean, you could apply something just all over your eye with this, just as a one and done shadow. This is perfection. Even the tapered tip is helpful for under your eyes. So if you really want to do a little bit of like a smokier shadow under the eye, you can use this brush for that as well. This one does it all. And it's unique to me because a lot of brushes are wider on the tip. So like this is the 201 from BK Beauty, which is also great. But see how this one is much wider here where this one is much skinnier. So you can do a little bit more with this, whereas this is so fluffy, you're not going to get much precision with this brush. This brush retails for $16 and it's just a workhorse brush for me. I constantly reach for this I think everybody could benefit from this. And I do have one brush from MAC. It's the 217. I think this brush has been around for years. This is not a new thing. I think this is probably one of their best selling brushes for good reason. What I like this for is cream or liquid shadows. This brush blends creams and liquids beautifully. I use this anytime I use like a shadow stick and I want to kind of buff it out a little bit. You can use this for eye primer on your eyes just to lightly kind of spread it out. You can use this to smoke out eyeliner if you want. It's kind of an interesting shape. It's a little bit fluffy but it's very rounded here. So I think that's what lends itself really well to really use anywhere for anything on your eyes. You could use this under your eyes for shadow on your lower lash line, but I use this the most for any type of cream. So if I do like a one and done eyeshadow, I blend it out with this. I reach for this all the time. I think I have three of these at this point. This brush does everything I need for creams and liquids, and this brush is everything I need for powder eyeshadows. The MAC 217 retails for $30 and I will have it linked below. Finally, I have to end it with one that, I, I mean, I love this brush so much. You Again, you've heard me talk about it a lot, but it 
had to make it in this video from BK Beauty, the 208. You guys, this is the best tiny angled brush I have ever seen, ever used, period. If you have any trouble with eyeliner or just you need a brush to get in a very, very, very small area around your eyes, this brush. It is the tiniest little angled brush and I love it. The wings that I have today, I used this brush with a little bit of a matte eyeshadow. I used it just to wing this out just a little bit. And this brush, you guys, I'm telling you, it is the best. If you have hooded eyes, like I have hooded lids here, it is very hard to use a larger angled brush like this if you have small eyes or you have hooded eyes. You need something really tiny and precise. This is it. Anytime I want to do a little baby wing, which is my favorite thing to do like I have today, this is what I'll use. I'll either use eyeshadow or you can use a regular eyeliner. Get some of the eyeliner on the brush. Use it that way. You can apply your eyeliner to your lash line and use this to kind of pull it out a little bit. If you listen to anything I say in this video, you need this brush. It retails for $15 and it'll be the best $15 you've ever spent. I promise you it is fantastic. This will work for anybody. If you have more mature eyes, if you don't, if you struggle with eyeliner at all, you need the 208 in your life. It retails for $15. It is worth every single penny. All right, you guys, those are my most used makeup brushes. I get asked about brushes a lot. And if you watch my videos, those are not going to be surprises for you. You see them all the time, but I wanted to have a video out there that just had my most reached for most used brushes with a little explanation as to who they're good for, why I love them. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was helpful. I am a big believer in investing in brushes. I know makeup brushes can seem like maybe something you shouldn't invest in or something you don't need to invest in. But the truth is if you buy a good quality makeup brush and you take care of it, they will last you for years. You can continue to wash and use them over and over and over and over and over. And in my opinion, tools and brushes can make a really big difference in your makeup application and just your makeup look overall. If you have the right tools, it will make a difference, I'm telling you. So make sure to look in the description box. I will have everything linked and listed for you. Make sure to take advantage of the BK Beauty anniversary sale. Going from August 1st to August 6th, you can get 20% off site-wide, including the bundles that are already a bit discounted. So the bundles are where you're really going to save the most money, but 20% is 20% and every little bit helps. So everything will be below. I will link the makeup I'm wearing, my jewelry, everything else will also be linked. They are affiliate links, so I do make a commission if you shop through them. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe and follow me over on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.